Hello everybody, this is Martin Ramirez from Millionaire Minded. I'm here today to talk about success, formulas for success, making money, how to potentially become rich, and so on and so forth. Okay, I know of a person that wanted to start a cherry tomato business, okay? I mean, it's, well, I would say vegetable, but technically fruits, tomatoes classified as a fruit so I've heard and watched a lot of shows on TV about vineyards winemakers stuff like that and I'm like you know what that's pretty cool I mean I own several small businesses already and I thought to myself why not get involved in the winemaking industry okay so I grew I'm growing actually a few grape plants in my yard just to see how they're doing so far Try to get a little bit of a hang of it just to see if I can grow them. And it's pretty interesting. The sad part is I don't like wine, <laughs> which really sucks because I would love to be a wine connoisseur. But unfortunately, I'm not. And today, this video is more of a podcast. I don't feel like you really need to see my face in this particular video. As long as you hear what I have to say, kind of spin off a few ideas of mine as far as success-wise, gaining businesses, enriching your lives, etc. Oh, so anyway, back to my subject. I'm talking about winemakers, okay? I'm talking Napa Valley. I think we got Verde Valley. Here in Arizona, we got Verde Valley. And there's a lot of different places you can do that. But um, if and when I get my winemaking business off the ground, if I just choose to do so, I'm going to need some wine tasters, okay? And if you're watching this video right now, if you're a wine connoisseur, definitely leave that in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do for you. Uh my new friend Dakota, I don't know if she's a wine drinker, but I definitely would like to give her a shot to try out some of the wines and play with the vines and all that crap. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you, I mean, you want to start off small businesses or if you're extending from some kind of a family business, that's definitely a good way to go. I wouldn't say you necessarily have to be in California. That's where a lot of the wine businesses in the United States. But it would help. Unfortunately, I'm not there. But I can establish a vineyard over there if I choose to. But I want to learn the whole uh, grape growing process. Like from the ground up, you know. I want to learn it personally. I want to start on my own. And then eventually do what I need to to get my own like serious vineyards and start producing some actual wine. Get people touring it, tasting the wines, etc. So if you guys are interested in the wine business at all, growing grapes, or have any advice as far as growing grapes, please let me know in the comment section. And uh, yeah, just talking about success here. What you need to do to become successful, expand your businesses, learn new businesses. Like I said, I'm not a great, um, like a winemaker as of yet, but I would love to learn more about it. So, peace out for now, and make sure you watch our next video. And thank you for watching.